There's somebody recently who's probably saying, man, y'all should stop talking about Donald Trump. No, I need y'all to understand what he has unleashed. You have individuals right now, this thing has expanded. It, it has metastasized. This thing is, this, this cancer is now going across the entire body. And what these folks are preparing to unleash on this country in November, if they win the House, if they win the Senate, if they win secretaries of state races, if they win gubernatorial races, if you thought it was just Trump, no, you about to really see what this thing is all about, Reese. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the bottom line is that Trump is still the kingmaker in the Republican Party. His hand selected candidates won the Senate races or the Senate primaries and the gubernatorial primaries across the country. And these are crackpot radical Republicans that I wrote about in my book. Uh, so there is a lot at stake. And you have a situation like Doug Mastriano in Pennsylvania who gets to select his own secretary of state, which he said may or may not uh, abide by the election results. And so what we're facing in 2022 is Donald Trump's last stand before his election campaign. If his candidates go down, then Donald Trump does not stand a chance in 2024. But if his candidates capture the Senate seats, they capture the gubernatorial races and secretary of state races, then we are not going to have a free and fair election in 2024, point blank period, because there will be people in here that will not abide by the process like they did in 2020, that will not ad ad adhere to the will of the people, of the in people. addition to what in addition to what they're doing to suppress the vote and gerrymander the vote and all that good shit, these people want to flat out throw out election results and install their own electors, install their own results, period. That's not hypothetical. This is what they're running on. This is why Donald Trump is so hands-on with these races. All of his candidates have, almost all of them, have won their primaries. So he's coming for it. And yes, what's happening in terms of this declassification or classification is important. What's happening with Tish James is important. But what's happening across this country with this midterms is critically important because this is going to decide what happens in 2024. This is our last chance to have some semblance of a free and fair election in 2024. And if the Democrats win, then we get the voting rights, we get the John, we get the George Floyd rights and all that good stuff. But what we, what we cannot... Under underestimate is how bad these Republicans will work to hold on or flat out steal the power next time. Uh, that particular point there, I mean, Greg, look, th this is uh, my book, White Fear, uh, how the brown of America making white folks lose their mind. What you're seeing right now with sending the migrants to Martha's Vineyard, uh, mm. DeSantis rewarding his donors, that's a part of this. But also, I need to remind people of this here. This is an Axios story by Jonathan Swan that is uh, that's actually, that came out um, uh, on July 22nd, 2022. A radical plan for Trump's second term. Folks, if y'all go through this, they literally are meeting as we speak. They have been plotting and planning. They have been going through saying, what were the mistakes that we made in four years? They, they have plans to th who fire thousands of government bureaucrats in mm -hmm. numerous departments. They literally are saying we will are they are vetting people who are who are stalwart supporters of Trump and MAGA world and just understand what's going on and see and see the, the, the reason. See, see, my problem when I saw this, this poll today where they say some independents don't like MAGA Republicans because they feel as if, uh, you know, it's like, well, there are other people who, who are who are decent Republicans who are not crazy. No, here's the deal. If you are a Republican and you riding with them, but trying to say, oh, no, no, I'm not one of them. Yes, you are, because you're supporting them. And what these people have in place, they want to gut so much of the environment, civil rights mm -hmm. laws, you name it. And so we have to keep sounding the alarm because for every one of these black people who are sitting their asses at home, who talking about, man, I ain't voting. I had some, I had some dude talking about, oh, why should we be mobilizing the vote? Is reparations on the ballot? And I said, well, fool, who going to give that to you? House and Senate. So it, I said, are you really that dumb? Because if you say that's what you want, I said, it ain't going to magically appear. And so other people are sitting here saying, well, uh, 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 get tangibles for your vote they kind of got to win in order for you to get what you want to get. And so the folk on the right, 
They're very clear on what they want. They're real clear. And what they're not doing, they're not having that conversation about don't vote. They are highly enthused because they know exactly what they're trying to do, Greg. They absolutely do, Roland. And uh, I get down this, you can sign my copy of White Fear. And I got these hard copies of your books, Reese, because again, you both lay it out. This is driven by White Fear. And you've laid it out. And, of course, as Reese said, you see the implications at the ballot box and you see the implications in all of the elections and all of the primary candidates they had. And I agree with you, Dr. Haynes. This is no laughing matter. You know, Donald Trump is the avatar. He's a he's a clown, but he's an avatar for a much larger movement. And the movement isn't just in the United States. In Brazil, Lula da Silva will probably win that election. But Bolsonaro has already said, I'm in control of the military. If Lula wins, fuck it, I'll just kill him and everybody else. The, and Steve Bannon hasn't gone anywhere. The, 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 the report that you that you showed, Axios, there is a mountain. There's a, there are mountains of those reports out. There are mountains of those reports which have showed the from Hungary to Brazil to the attempts in Mexico to try to strong arm what happened in Bolivia and Peru. It, Donald Trump is just an avatar for a larger global movement to, con to continue to maintain power. It is funded by corporate greed. It is funded locally by driving people driven by white fear into white nationalism. And so, yeah, Donald Trump. Is you know he's got he's got at least a half dozen things plaguing him right now. Of course he's got Tish James and the civil suit in New York. He's got as you said Brad with the uh, criminal probe and his CFO has already pled guilty and will probably be testifying again against him. I think that goes to trial uh, about a month from now. He's got the, a defamation suit from this lady who he said uh, he's suing for defamation because. He said, she said that he raped her in the 90s, and he's trying to get the suit dismissed, but it hasn't been dismissed. And don't forget the 1-6 commission and also the Georgia election tampering. tampering. But the point is this. I'm in Atlanta right now for this Asa Hilliard free uh, return to the source conference here at Atlanta University Center. I'm sitting in the Woodruff Library. When I got off the plane this morning, the AJC, the Atlanta General Constitution, proving once again that white stream mass entertainment media cannot be trusted. The headline was Stacey Abrams not garnering the type of black support that she needs to be. I'm saying this is not news. Who owns the AJC? You people are all lining up to maintain power by any means necessary. People now need to be smart because if they can get this power back, if they can consolidate, they're going to invalidate elections. They're gonna break this thing. I'm not, I don't necessarily think that's the worst thing that can happen because I think ultimately there's something on the other side of that, but let's be very clear. Yeah, there it is right there. I'm yeah. reading this like, are you serious right now? Well, but we're in an information war. Reese talks right. about this all the time. Right, absolutely. And we're going to talk about that uh, a little later, later in the show because, it, because again, I need people to understand when they see these stories what's really going on here. All right, folks, back to our Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. When we invest in ourselves, our glow, our vision, our vibe. We all shine. Together, we are Black Beyond Measure. Folks, Black Star Network is here. Hold no punches. I'm real um, revolutionary right now. Black Black. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. Uh, thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roland. I love y'all. All momentum we have now. We have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, there's a difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig? 